This is an art attack. This is an art attack. This is art attack. <laughs> Welcome once again. Next time you're at a party where everyone's got paper cups, when they finish with them, collect them and bring them to life. Come and have a look at this. Now, collect a stack of paper cups, as many as you can. I suppose it depends how many people are at your party, really. And the idea is to make a hole in the bottom of each cup. And I found the best way of doing this is to give it a short, sharp stab with a pencil or a biro. And that makes a perfect hole for threading some string through. Then take a piece of string and make a knot at the end of it, and it needs to be a nice long piece of string, and then start to thread it through your cups. And just thread it into the cup and through the bottom like this. Now, it can be a bit fiddly, so just bear with me. There it goes, right through the bottom, and pull it all the way through, like that. So you've then got the knot on the inside. And then stand it up and make another knot the other side of the bottom of the cup. So you've got two knots, one inside the cup and one outside at the bottom. And then just mark a point, you can just see it there, I've just marked it on the string, six centimetres away from the cup. And the idea is to do the whole thing again. Make a knot, thread on a cup and then make another knot. And go through all of your cups doing the same thing every six centimetres. And when you're finished, you'll have something that looks like this. <laughs> It looked a bit like a, a dead cup worm, really, doesn't it? Quite sad. And if you've got any string hanging over at the end, just trim that off and tie a knot at the end. And then take two more cups and stick them together. And what I've done is I've taped these two together and put a stapler in there. And you can glue them. And then put a loop of tape on the bottom, like that. And then just stick those cups to your second to last cup in your dead worm. Just press it down firmly and you can see what I'm doing here, can't you? There you have a sort of face on your dead cup worm. And then, oops, and then the idea is to bring it to life. And the way to do that is to just attach it to a cane with three pieces of string. One piece at the front that's in a loop around the face or the eyes there, and then one near to the back, not quite at the back, so you've got a nice long tail dangling at the back there, and then one piece of string between those two. And let me just give you a tip. Make that middle piece of string slightly shorter than the other two, so it's got sort of a, a hump back. And then, with a flick of the wrist and a twist of the cane, he starts to nod at you. Look at that. Weird effect, isn't it, as he wiggles away there. And don't leave him bare like that. You can actually paint a design on him using acrylic paint or poster paint mixed with PVA glue. And you can do any design you like. Make it big, bright and colourful. You could even put in some paper eyes. And why not snip in some eyelashes? Try it yourself. Bring some paper cups to life and make a paper cup puppet. Oh, they look fantastic. Hello. It's me again, the head. That is a very nice use for old paper cups. But remember to leave that six centimetre gap between the knots. That will allow your puppet to move. Hey, do you want to see my paper cup puppet? <coughs> well, I only had one cup. Ha 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 ha! 